Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to prepare vegan couscous. Couscous can be considered as one of the plant-based protein source for many of the vegans and vegetarians. It is made out of semolina and wheat flour most of the time. You can prepare this easily and quickly without having any difficulties for your day-to-day -day meals. Let's see how we can prepare this delicious vegan couscous. First of all, I have taken three cups of couscous, three chopped garlic cloves, two chopped green chilies, some curry leaves, one chopped medium-sized onion, three medium-sized carrots I have cut into small pieces like this, one cup of green part of leeks I have done long cut, one cup of green peas, one cup of sweet corn, salt to taste, one teaspoon of turmeric powder, one to two teaspoons of black pepper powder, boil water depend on the amount of couscous you have taken and finally two tablespoons of vegan butter. First of all, let's prepare couscous. I'm taking three cups of couscous. One thing to keep remember, when you measure the couscous using one type of cups, the same cup you have to use to measure the boiled water. The ratio is one cup of couscous to one cup of boiled water. Since I have taken three cups of couscous, I'm going to use three cups of boiled water. Once you finish adding the amount of water required, use a fork to mix everything well and then afterwards you can use a spoon or spatula to press down the couscous firmly and afterwards you can cover this container using an airtightened lid. This process indeed will help to make couscous properly. At the end, you will see couscous bowls separately. You will not have any of them stick to each other. So just follow this process as I have mentioned in order to prepare couscous properly. I'm going to leave this one for 10 minutes and after 10 minutes, you can open the lid and use a fork to mix this well and to see whether couscous have been done properly when you use the correct ratio you will get the couscous like this you can use a spoon if you want to break the larger couscous bowls but you can see it's not stick to each other it is something like when you make rice and this is the correct way that you can make the couscous now let's prepare the mixture put the pan on the medium flame and add butter this is vegan butter and wait until it's get melted once the butter is melted now you can add curry leaves green chilies and garlics stir the mixture well and then after one minute of the time you can start adding the onions after adding the chopped onion now you can mix everything well then use a lid to cover the pot which will help to have golden brownish mixture quickest possible after two minutes of the time i'm going to open the lid and give a good stir i can see golden brown color now it's the time for me to add spices starting with salt when you add salt, make sure to add a little bit less salt because already vegan butter has got salt. And then turmeric powder. Finally, black pepper powder. Again, stir the full mixture well and keep it in the low flame. Then start adding the carrots. When you add carrots, you can again stir the mixture well and maintain low flame otherwise the spices can be burnt you can cover the pot use in a lid and leave for about another two minutes of the time 
After two minutes, open the lid and see whether carrots are halfway done. If it is the case, then you can start adding green peas and sweet corn. Again, mix everything well and once it's done, again cover the potatoes in the lid and leave another two minutes of the time. After two minutes of the time, you can open the lid and give a good stir and see whether carrots have been cooked properly. If it is the case, then you can start adding the shredded legs. Once you add leeks, you are not going to leave the pot on the cooker for so long. You can actually cover the pot again using the lid for maximum about one minute of the time. After one minute of the time, now you can open the lid and do a final stir for the vegan mixture before adding the couscous. You can see it's done properly. Now this is the perfect time to add pre-prepared couscous. After adding all the couscous into the vegan mixture, you can use wooden spoon or silicon spoon to mix everything well. Then you will not break any of the couscous bowls. So just take time and slowly mix everything well and see whether the vegan mixture has been combined with the couscous perfectly. When the mixing is done properly, you will see couscous like this and still you are on the very low flame and once it's all good, you can switch off the flame and take the pot off from the cooker. Finally, vegan couscous looks very colorful as well as when you have the taste, it's super delicious. You can have this as a substitute for rice and it has got, as I mentioned earlier, many of the health benefits, especially for vegans, vegetarians. It's one of the source of protein. I hope you enjoyed today's video and thank you for watching. Till I see you with another vegan recipe, have a wonderful time to all of you.